the fact that it's 1 p.m. and I'm still trying to get out of bed. Just forget about that. What we will remember is it's important to know how you feel whenever you are experiencing other people, especially when you're experiencing other people online, especially when you're experiencing other people on social media online. If you are experiencing other people on social media and you know that their highlights and their achievements are the ones that are being portrayed the most and you are feeling downtrodden, um, like you're lost, like you don't understand what area of your life you need to work on in order to get to what they are doing, in order to get to where they are standing, in order to achieve the things that they are achieving, You're in the wrong space to even be consuming right now. It is a testament to happiness and to calmness and to peace and to spaces of being settled and feeling settled. When you experience other people online and you literally feel like you are winning too. You feel like you are there too. When the former happens, it's time to disconnect. It's time to find things that make us feel a bit better about ourselves with ourselves and not with anybody else because no one else can do that for us it's time for us to get back to the basics on affirmations get back to the basics on self-love practices get back to the basics of get back to the basics of manifestations of writing down our goals of seeing what things we can do and understanding what first steps we can make in order to get to where we need to be if you are someone who feels more of the latter you are in a space of clarity of happiness of love and of gratitude And that's a very beautiful space to be. Unfortunately, even though a lot of us are amazing creatives who have amazing things that we should all be amazingly proud of. Personally, I've been moving in and out of these two experiences over the last several months where I've been feeling extremely unhappy for a lot of different reasons. And I haven't found the joy or the beauty or the success of other people to be something that I'm basking in and experiencing in for myself i've been feeling very detached from what it is that other people are feeling especially if those feelings are of happiness because i've been so unhappy and i think that it's a testament to the waves and the movement of where we can get back to the motivations of getting back to ground zero the thing about courage and the thing about affirmations and the thing about happiness is that they are all practices and they are all exercises and if you do not practice it and if you do not exercise these muscles of courage these muscles of happiness and these muscles of self-love they will become weak and when they become weak you cannot protect yourself and people can overpower you in many ways especially if those things are mentally I'm in a space right now where I am so motivated to get back to Ayana in 2019. Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know. Like, I'm coming. I'm coming full force. I'm indestructible. Okay? I am powerful as hell. And can't nobody stop me. Because I ain't going to let it happen. Not even myself. I'm not even going to let myself stop myself.